Kagurabachi is boring. Or that's what some people are saying. And now with its fourth chapter released and its fifth on the way, I kinda can't blame people for saying this. Don't get me wrong, I am enjoying Kagurabachi as much as the next guy, but there are some aspects of this story that I do not like at all all and i want to talk about it so far this series has blasted past expectations with unwavering velocity now sitting at the current top five of shonen jump series and whether it's due to people genuinely enjoying the series or completely based on meme culture you still have to be a little amazed at how well it's doing out of all the sword series that have currently exist and how exhausted some people are with the genre kagurabachi is just cutting down the competition it is extremely memeable Chihiro's super cool guy attitude and basic protagonist poses have made for some of the funniest memes I've seen in a while. The art for this series is very good. There is a very crisp and clearness to it that I really enjoy. There are elements to it that remind me of Soul Eater during its manga run, mainly with its use of black composition and the facial expressions, which we will be touching on in just a moment. The paneling, of course, which I've spoken about in a previous video, is amazing and just seems to continue to get better. The mangaka for Kagurabachi really knows how to make his series feel very cinematic. His usage of the white space outside of the manga panels to give viewers a much more fluid reading experience I think is one of Kagurabachi's major strengths. And as more chapters release, we are introduced to more colorful characters that seem like they're going to do a really good job of bouncing off of Chihiro's sad boy vibe. As of right now, like I said in the last video, Kagurabachi still has a ton of room to grow and plenty of potential. But in order to capitalize on that, there are some things we're gonna need fixed. Currently, there are two major issues that I have with Kagurabachi, which is significantly dragging it down from being the best series it possibly could be. And the first one are the faces. As I said before, we are getting introduced to very colorful characters, but I am having a problem getting into some of these characters because of the way they emote. A lot of these characters' faces are so bland, especially our main character, Chihiro. The emoting in this series does not give me a lot of emotional investment into what's going on and what characters are saying because they all tend to make the exact same faces. This low eyelid, wide mouth tap tactic is getting really old really fast. And it just seems to be sprinkled in throughout the story at really inappropriate moments. It just feels like the default for making these characters look goofy and for some comic relief wherein it doesn't really land. If the author for Kagurabachi plans on getting more from its readers in terms of emotional connection, we're going to need some more expressions from these characters. I really want to understand how these characters feel through their expressions. It's one of the reasons why I love One Piece so much. Oda really knows how to make his characters emote in very creative and distinctive ways. If Kagurabachi is going to keep me invested, we're going to need a fix on this. The second and probably the biggest issue is the story. The first video I made on Kagurabachi was on the first chapter. And in that video, I did praise Kagurabachi for its slow approach to its storytelling. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of series go way too big, way too fast on its first chapter and never really live up to that hype after the first chapter releases. Kagurabachi decided to take a step back and really lead us through the narrative and left bits and pieces of mystery for us to unveil as we continue through the story. It made me very excited and I was anticipating what we were going to get in the future future. But we are now on chapter 4 and I'm gonna be honest it doesn't feel like enough has happened. Chapter 2 focuses on Chihiro's backstory and while I did enjoy the section of him dealing with his father's death, not a lot happened in that chapter. And even if I could get past that, chapter 3 has even less going on. I appreciate the series attempting to really build up a lot of the core characters that we are going to be spending time with, but if it's going to hold people's attention for the next couple of chapters coming out, a lot more needs to happen. And even even though I do praise chapter 4 for its action and us learning a lot about the abilities that Chihiro has under his belt, I can't help but be distracted by the fact that chapter 4 ends the exact same way that chapter 1 did. 
This series needs to pick things up. There really is no way around it. I really like this series. I want to see it go the distance. I want to know what it has to offer down the line. But if some of these problems don't get fixed early on, we may be staring down the opposite end of an axe. But please let me know what you guys think so far. Are you enjoying Kagurabachi? Are any of these things I listed issues for you? That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Johnny Star out of here. Peace. Thank you.